Hi guys, welcome to this video. In this video, we are going to talk about tautomerism. So we will take a look at what is tautomerism. Then we will decide the reason behind tautomerism. Why does it occur? Then we will take a look at some examples for tautomerism. In our case, we are concerned with keto enol tautomerism. There are other kinds of tautomerism also. But for our syllabus, we have the keto enol tautomerism. And finally, we will talk about the stability between these two kinds of isomers. So let's begin with the first question that is, what is tautomerism? Let's take a look at these two examples. On the left, we have a ketone. You can see this because of the presence of this carbonyl carbon attached to two different carbon atoms. And on the right hand side, we have an alcohol because you see this OH functional group here. So this is an alcohol, but there is a double bond present right over here. So we call this alcohol an enol. En stands for the double bond and OL stands for the alcohol. So on the right, we have an enol and on the left, we have a ketone. But the interesting thing about these two compounds is that they have the same molecular formula. Let's check. On the left, we have three carbon atoms, then three plus three, six hydrogen atoms, and there is one oxygen atom. And on the right hand side, if you look carefully, you have one, two, and three carbon atoms, two plus one here 3 and 3 6 hydrogen atoms and 1 oxygen atom. So the molecular formula for these two compounds are same but their structures are different. So they are structural isomers. Right? Now you can call them functional isomers and claim that the functional groups are different but you see that not only the functional groups are different, there is a difference in the chain due to the presence of this double bond. And so we give them a new category and we call them tautomers. And this property is known as tautomerism. Here we have a ketone and an enol. So this tautomerism is known as keto, keto from here and enol from here. So this tautomerism is called keto enol tautomerism. There are other forms of tautomerism also like the nitro AC tautomerism, but we are not interested in that right now. Now if this example is clear to you, let's see why tautomerism occurs. The reason behind tautomerism is that when we have a carbonyl carbon, for example, let's take this compound which is CH3, C double bond O and CH3. So when we have a carbonyl carbon, then the oxygen atom is very electronegative and so it attracts electrons towards itself and electrons now try to move towards the oxygen atom. Because of that, this carbon atom present here will be deficient in electrons. And so the adjacent carbon atoms will try to shift some of their electron density towards this carbon. So these arrows show the flow of electrons. Now focus on this carbon over here. It is attached to three hydrogen atoms. H, H and H. Because this carbon is shifting electron density, the electrons from the bonds between this carbon and hydrogen atoms will try to move towards the carbon atom. And this generates a slightly positive charge on these hydrogen atoms. And because of this, they are acidic in nature. Why do I call them alpha hydrogen atoms? 
that is because the carbon atoms next to the carbonyl carbon are called alpha carbons and any hydrogen attached to the alpha carbon is known as alpha hydrogen in this example we have 3 and 3 6 alpha hydrogens so the reason behind tautomerism is alpha hydrogen atoms are acidic let's see what that does now that you know that this oxygen atom is slightly electronegative because it is withdrawing electrons towards itself and the alpha hydrogens for example this one over here are slightly electropositive so this oxygen atom can try to attract this hydrogen atom right opposite charges attract each other because of that this bond here will break and come over here that will cause this carbon atom here to have five bonds which is not possible and so this bond between carbon and oxygen will break and a bond between oxygen and hydrogen atom will form so what we end up with is a double bond between the two carbon atoms and a new bond between oxygen and hydrogen atoms and the rest of the molecule remains the same okay the first question that you should ask is that whether tautomerism is even possible or not to answer that look for alpha hydrogen atoms if there is an alpha hydrogen present tautomerism is possible if not tautomerism will not happen for example take a look at this compound there is no alpha carbon here because there is only one carbon atom and that is the carbonyl carbon and so there is no alpha hydrogen right so this compound will not show tautomerism for tautomerism always try to look for alpha hydrogen first like this compound it has an alpha carbon and three alpha hydrogen atoms to draw the tautomerism what you do is simply subtract the first rule is simply subtract one alpha hydrogen and give it to the oxygen atom and then you make a double bond between the carbonyl carbon okay make the double bond between carbonyl carbon and the alpha carbon so if i have to write the tautomer for this compound what I will do is I will take an H from the alpha carbon it becomes CH2 and give it to the oxygen at the carbonyl carbon and then make a double bond here and copy the rest of the molecule as same so this is the tautomer for this compound here is another example is this molecule capable of showing tautomerism let's find out where is the alpha carbon so if you look carefully the alpha carbon will be present here and there is no hydrogen atom present at the alpha carbon so we do not have any alpha H and so there is no tautomerism right But what if we have something like this compound? Can this show tautomerism? Yes. Why? Because the alpha carbon present on the right hand side has alpha hydrogen atoms. There are no alpha H on the left carbon atom. But on the right we have three alpha hydrogen atoms. And so if I try to draw its tautomer, that is the enol form, what I will get is first remove one hydrogen from the alpha carbon, then give it to the oxygen atom of the carbonyl group, make a double bond between the carbonyl carbon and the alpha carbon, 
and copy the rest of the molecule as same. This is the enolic form for this compound. Now that we have seen enough examples, let's talk about the relative stability of the keto form and the enol form a little bit. So this is a very important rule that you must remember in organic chemistry. The carbonyl group is very stable thermodynamically. And thermodynamically is a big word. It just means that energy wise it is very stable. Okay. So the carbonyl group always tries to exist in this form whenever possible. And this makes the keto form more stable than the enol form. But sometimes there are other factors that come into play. Let's take an example for that. Let's take a look at this molecule. Can it show tautomerism? We sure have a carbonyl group present here. So all we need to do is first check for alpha hydrogens. Now one alpha hydrogen is present here and we have two alpha H present here. So it will show tautomerism. But the question is from which side? Let's see what happens if I try to remove the alpha H on the right hand side. If I do that, what we will get is transfer the alpha hydrogen to the oxygen atom so it becomes an OH create a double bond between the carbon atom and the alpha carbon and we have a structure like this and if I tried to do that from the left hand side we will get the compound with an OH group here and the double bond will be created on the left hand side. Now this part resembles like benzene that is aromaticity comes into play. But first let's take a look at the first product that we formed. Now everything is fine with this product except that it will not be formed. Why? To understand that you need to take a look at this carbon atom. If I ask you to write the hybridization of this carbon, you will say that it has two double bonds and so the hybridization is sp, right, which should be at an angle of 180 degree. But the angle formed here is 120 degree. So there is too much strain and this is another important rule. SP hybrid carbon, very important for JE related questions, SP hybrid carbon does not exist in a six membered ring. Okay. So keep this rule in mind. Never draw an sp hybrid carbon in a six membered ring. So this product will not be formed. Now take a look at the second product that we prepared which has an aromatic character. Now this aromatic character adds so much stability that this enolic form that we have here Remember we call this phenol and now you know where this enol comes from. That is because it is the tautomer of this compound and it is an N and an ol. So this aromatic behavior adds so much stability that in this case the enolic form becomes more stable than the keto form. Generally, the keto form is more stable than the enol form, but if there is added stability like due to aromaticity, the enol form will become more stable. So that's all for this video guys. If you like the video, subscribe to my channel and leave your comments below. See you in the 